What's happening, everybody? Welcome to episode 133 of the Games and Grabs podcast. My name is Sonny G, and I am joined by the ever-present Finn Steele. Hello. And Steve. Hello. And this is week number eight in a row. We're on a roll. We're absolutely nailing it. This is the biggest streak we've probably been on since we first started doing this podcast. Yeah. Impressive. We're finally getting into it. I'd say how many yeah. years. <laughs> yeah, we're 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 finally real podcasters, not just yeah. like part timers. Exactly. Full time podcasters. Yeah, we're looking like the Bee Gees with our beards and hair because yeah. we're not allowed to get haircuts. We could shave, but we just choose not to. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a <laughs> style yeah. choice. The hair isn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, my hair is absolutely all over the gaff at the minute. Uh, mine's honking. It's terrible. And Finn looks like one of the extras from that 70s show. <laughs> and <laughs> Steve is Trent Seven's long lost brother. Oh, yeah. I'll take it. Yeah, that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Are you wearing Good socks? Old. Good old Trent. I've got socks on, yeah, but um, yeah. Uh, so I'm not quite <laughs> as trendy as, 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 uh, as Trent. No, no, none of us are as trendy as those guys. And I'm not going to be sleeping in the field anytime soon. <laughs> 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 oh, what a guy. Uh, Oh, man. Right. Just a couple of bits before we uh, get to business as usual. Thank you very much to anybody who checked out the pre-show before the pre-show for Elimination Chamber this past Sunday on Powered 4 TV and the Games and Graps Facebook page. Uh, That was great and very good fun. Yes, Um, thank you. And also thank you to anybody who has checked out the uh, Retromania slash Retrosoft bonus podcast that we put out uh, just a couple of days back. yeah the feedback has been amazing um we really hope you guys enjoyed it sorry for the crap editing that's my fault but um yeah it was it was a really fun show great to speak with mike again um and yeah thanks to mike for coming on go grab retro mania wrestling it is available on steam now and coming to consoles probably in the next week or so hopefully anytime um, now yeah anytime now so yeah yeah um it's going really good for us at the minute so you know consistency definitely is key and that's something that we definitely do have at the minute which is awesome and we're just having an absolute blast with this having a lot of fun and we hope you guys are as well yes thanks very much a round of applause there we go. <laughs> man i love that guy in the background i know i say it every week but i absolutely love it <laughs> it's i guess. cannot get enough of it proper hyped isn't he proper yeah. hyped oh he is <laughs> jacked up for the podcast wow yeah whoa yeah <laughs> eight in a row Woo. <laughs> finn hello what have you been playing this week what indeed i'm pl- mostly playing uh ori and the will of the wisps this week nice which is excellent as always trying to get through that trying to last you a few uh quick games i reckon before i move on to the next big thing hmm. it's probably a plank. um so i'm playing it with a ps4 controller using my little special little adapter i got on the internet it's like also used on Switch. Um, it looks just like a USB stick. Is it literally just mm. a USB stick with some fancy yeah, technology in it? Yeah, it's been a Bluetooth um, adapter with, with lots of like, fancy software with it. Um, but it's cool. Um, yeah, you can also use it on Switch. Uh, the only problem is when you're playing Ori, like the button prompts are as you are with the Xbox controller. So when it asks you to press X, I get, it's easy to automatically press X on the base of the controller. So sometimes when you like go to talk to someone, they're like, "Hi, Ori, how are you doing?" And you just do like a little hop. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Why Ori. don't you just use an Xbox controller? Because I don't have one. Oh, I thought well, you had one. Um, I got this one, but I don't have a battery for it. I don't want to spend money on batteries. Just steal them from the shop you work at. <laughs> then I get in trouble. You'd have to tell no one. <laughs> They've got cameras everywhere. They'll watch me. Just slip them down the front of your pants. <laughs> no one will know. <laughs> Naughty. Every, everyone will just think you're packing. I mean, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you have? Four lumps, four parallel lumps in your pants. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'll just have a base. Like, uh, you can just be like, well, I have to fold my penis up because it's so. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah to, fold in, to fold into four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not happy, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, Finn. I, I unfortunately I don't have to do that. That's fair. That's no, I have to. I have to blow on it to wake it up. 
Oh, oh dear. Uh, but uh, yeah, hell of a game. Um, <laughs> I'm done. But yeah, it's funny because the X button on the controllers, we're playing on Switch, Xbox, or PlayStation, mm. and places. So if you're yeah. playing like a game, it's like, it's actually the first X, it's got to think, like, hold on, this one, All right? <laughs> we'll get lost. I feel like. Off. I feel like they should start being more considerate towards us gamers and just start putting everything in the same place. Yeah, yeah. it's all the biggest fault with well, the Dreamcast for moving around. But the Nintendo's yeah. first, we did it this way. And then Sega's like, we're the Dreamcast, we're going we're gonna to change it. The Xbox is like, yeah, I like the Dreamcast, I'm going to do the same as that. So it's like, no, just leave them as they are. And so Nintendo's fun. like, we could fall in line, but fuck you guys nah. for buying other yeah. consoles. Sod that. Nah. Super Nintendo game first, we'll just stick with that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, other than that, I've played a bit of a um, bit more Wrestle Empire. Which, yes, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not, I can't, I'm not, I'm having trouble getting into it. It's very difficult. <laughs> I can't win matches. I won the first match I had against Scotty Too Hotty, or yeah. not Scotty Too Hotty, whatever his name is. Um, Blonde Blunder, I think he's called on that. That sounds right, yeah. Um, and that was good, but then ever since then, I've just been losing. Like after that, I lost the no man, last man standing match <clears throat> against Dutty Rhodes. Um, which, is, which is very strange, and after that, I've just been going like down downhill. Like, I never seem to have full health, I always got like half health on the start. And just just knock, the, knock the difficulty down, yeah. I put it down to easy, but I still I still lose. I just don't get it. I'm not, I'm not, it's you not, suck. <laughs> I know. I just don't, <laughs> I just play it. I was like, I could be playing anything else right now, I could be playing Ori right now, but I'm playing this, I don't like it, and <laughs> I'm not having fun. So, I'll try and get back into it, but right now, I'm just like, I'm bleh on the whole thing. So, Finn sucks at the game. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Maybe we'll just pick a bad character to start with. Let's we'll try someone else, someone else with better stats. Um, yeah, also played a bit of Retro Mania Wrestling, which we've been talking about earlier. Yeah. On Steam. Very, very cool game. A lot more fun with that one <laughs> than the Wrestling Empire. Um, I like the whole, you know, you've got to build up momentum before you can use stronger moves. Yes. Uh, it's very flashy, which is very cool, like very old school. And, yeah, it's very uh, arcadey. Yeah. I like the story mode with John Morrison. No, sorry, Johnny, Johnny Retro. Yeah, yep, Johnny Retro. Can't say John Morrison for uh, copyright Not purposes. Morrison. Completely different person. Um, totally different person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what, I haven't played a huge amount, but what I've played so far, it's been really, really fun. I look forward to playing more of that. I might buy it again on console. Yeah, yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to the console release. Um, re I'm looking forward to mostly to play it on Switch. Mm. Um, just I think it's going to be great to just be one of them games that you can just sort of sit and have on your, you know, your lap while you're doing whatever else uh, it's just gonna be a cool game to carry around handheld but it's uh it's really good i like it a lot um it's, it's everything i wanted it to be yeah, and it's exactly how i imagined it it's you know it's a tough a bit of a, a challenging learning curve with it but it's uh, a very very good game and i can't wait to to see how it grows in the in the coming months and mm. i'm just glad it's finally here and now i'm just ready for the console release yeah, I think the tutorial did a good job of like teaching the mechanics. Just not yes, definitely. Just don't even head first and like figure it out. <laughs> 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 but no, he does a good job. Yeah, for sure. It's really, really good. Um, definitely check that out, guys. It is available on Steam now. Yes, ready right now. Um, the, oh yeah, the other game I'm playing is very briefly played Ratchet and Clank, as promised. And yeah, it's great. Um, I just want to get through a few other games that I've started and I'm finished, like Ori, before I jump into that. Um, but yeah, from what you've played so far, it's good, mm. right? Really good, yeah. I love the animations, really good. Um, obviously, the gameplay is excellent. Uh, and yeah, it's good. I look forward to playing it properly. Awesome. I look forward to you playing it properly as well. I just still can't, I'm yeah. still in disbelief that you haven't played it properly, but yeah, I'm it's... excited that you are going to get to play it. Yeah, it just, like I said, it's just one that slipped slip through the cracks. I'm playing other things, and I'll get around to that eventually. And it just never did. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I think that's about it. Uh, how about you guys? Steve, we'll start with you. I've not really played a lot this week. Not had, not had a chance uh, with, with a lot of other things going on. Um, dipped into the usual stuff. So a bit of Forza for a couple of hours, which was nice. It's been a while since I had a really good blast on that. A couple of games of FIFA, dipping in and out of Animal Crossing. Um, and then we played Sea of Thieves with uh, the King of the Melts, uh, Darren <laughs> Hook, um, yeah. on... On third Wednesday, well, Wednesday it was. Um, we hadn't played it. Felt like we hadn't played it for a while, and uh, yeah, we had a really good laugh and good. Haunch. Yeah, we 
that yeah, we had a we had a really good we had a really good run actually when we went on. We mm. sort of sank a couple of NPC boats and you know found a bunch of treasure and you know we managed to unlock one of the vaults and absolutely clean it out and get yeah. do the puzzle and get the good chest. So you know, all in all, it was a very successful couple of hours on Sea of Thieves. Um, yeah, we're, we're 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 starting to become like fully cultured pirates now. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, we've. Uh, it, it took a, it took a while to get get as um, good enough to be like sinking boats, even NPC ones, which are supposedly yeah, we'd think would be a little bit easier than uh, than other the ones. NPC but, boats put yeah, a fight up though. Yeah, they do, they do. But it's uh, it's still a really cool game. I, I really love playing it. Yeah, I do. I really love playing it, and I love that we learn on learn on the spot all the time. Yeah. Like always finding new things out, even simple things like mm. you know that every single cannonball barrel has cannonballs in it, and it's not just a pile of barrels there for display. Yeah, it's not just one barrel that's actually got ammo in it. It's actually all three of them. We're like, oh, yeah, just things like that. You know, you just don't think, but it's no. um, it's just still so much fun. Finn, we need to get you in. Yes. On it with us. We know it's obviously it's just about sort of uh, working around you working, basically. Yeah, pretty much. I actually saw you guys playing it. I was playing Ori and I saw on the friend, friend list on the side. Oh, you should have you should have jumped in. Yeah, yeah I maybe <laughs> playing it. I was just said. Later. Yeah, I was taking it later and you're gone. I was like, oh, okay. Miss, oh. miss my beauty. <laughs> so definitely you'll be absolutely fine with it, Finn. I mean, I, I hadn't played it at all. These guys had already played been been playing it probably two years previous and i was you know the first first couple of times i was like i do not know what i'm doing here but now you know, i'm cultured steering yeah. the boat nice setting the angle yeah. of the sails everything yeah, yeah we have been played it very briefly together a couple of years back yeah you know, when it first came out and we had no idea what was going on but um yeah it's, it's definitely i mean a four-man crew would be excellent we'd have to use a bigger boat awesome. though which is the worrying thing mm. yeah the smaller boats are definitely better but there we go. Yeah, we'd have to take a galleon out, wouldn't we? And I think we'd be on our apps. We'd be on our ass. Oh Christ, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. Let's see you guys playing it. I'll, I'll hop in. Yeah, yes, do definitely it. do. Definitely do. do. Cool. Uh, but yeah, that's it for me. What about you, Sonny? Uh, I've been mainly on my Switch this week again. Um, been playing a bit of Animal Crossing because Kay has got back into Animal Crossing big time as well. So uh, we've both been playing that, and it's just. It's just one of those games. It's just so super addictive, and I can't mm. quite figure out why. Mm. I, I still it, can't figure out why. It's just a very, very good and addictive game, and I'm enjoying mm. just sort of, um, you know, weeding and you know, planting stuff. And it's just, yeah, it's just a great game, and I'm really having fun with it again. And yeah, I'll probably just keep dipping in, into it every day, just to mm. just because. Yeah. yeah, it's just a nice, uh, satisfying game. Like, you it just, is. Yeah, no, it's nice and simple. When you like clear, like you tidy up everything, it's like ah, everything's nice and tidy. I did it. And yeah, be one of the things. Yeah, definitely. And I'm, um, you know, I've been going to Kay's Island. She's been showing me things, and like we went swimming last night. Now you can do that, and you can you can like nice find thing. different fish and stuff in the water. And it, it's yeah, this, again, it's one of those games where you just learn on the job. You just turn it on, and you just learn new things every time. And mm. uh, that's great. Awesome. Yeah. I, uh, I too have been playing Wrestling Empire. I'm still really enjoying it. I'm about, um, I think I'm coming to the end of my third year of my career. Nice. Um, I'm currently an independent contractor because I decided to leave Strong Star Wrestling. They keep trying to re sign me, but I'm, I'm waiting for a better offer, to be honest. What cool. well, didn't enjoy, I, I wanted to be booked as the champion. Um, and I was a tag team champion. I don't want to be a tag team champion anymore. I want to be, I want to be, you know, the world champion. Yeah. Fair. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick it out and uh, wait for a good offer. But I've been playing that, still enjoying it. Been playing um, Super Mario 3D World still. Um, probably just over halfway through it. I'd still really enjoying that. I think it's, I just love it. I think it's excellent. I really do. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna crack on with that and keep playing it. And another game I've been playing on Switch is Taxi Chaos. Ah, mm. yeah. Um, so, yeah, the uh, the developers were kind enough to provide the three of us with review codes for the game. Nice. Uh, yeah. I have played it. I don't know about you two, but... <laughs> I haven't had a chance. No, I haven't had a chance. 
it's it's it is literally crazy taxi without the offspring soundtrack uh, i've seen people sort of uh, slate the amount of content that the game has and for the price that you would pay for it i can sort of agree but you know for the general G crazy taxi gameplay it's great i think it's really fun if you just want to you know a quick blast on arcade mode or if you just want to drive around picking people up and uh, doing the free roam mode it's good you know i really enjoy it and yeah you know what it's 2020 and or 2021 rather and yeah. you know gaming has moved on but there's always room for little arcadey experiences like this and i think it's really good so uh yeah, yeah i would I, I would say it's definitely worth checking out yeah, yeah. Fair, great stack yeah like two modes arcade and whatever the other one was and both exactly, is yeah <laughs> time <laughs> attack maybe or something i don't know something like that yeah mm. Yeah, so Crazy Taxi wasn't exactly breaking the mold when it came to yeah. uh, dynamic career mode with us with branching off story <laughs> stuff. But exactly. you know, this does have story bits. There's like special characters that you can pick up, and then you have to go and do uh, sort of errands for them to advance their like personal story. So you know, there is that stuff in it. So it is deeper than it probably needs to be, but it's I, I like it for for what it is, and I knew I was going to like it from when I first saw the trailer. I, I knew. That it was going to be a crazy taxi style game and they've captured the essence of crazy taxi i think perfectly so uh, awesome. well worth checking out M manageable achievement slash trophy list as well if you're playing it on uh, playstation or xbox awesome or the bonus but a good but a good game in general i, I like it good cool and uh, like i mentioned before i've played uh, retro mania wrestling which I, I think is great um i've not delved massively deep i've just played a, a load of exhibition matches because i'm waiting for the console version before i jump into the 10 pounds of gold and the career mode or sorry the story mode um but yeah it's i really like it i'm super excited for the console version yes okay. um Good i've got stuff. the out i've got the outriders demo on my ps5 to play i've not played okay. it yet but it looks really good so uh, i'm gonna try that out in a little while yeah people have said good things yeah, definitely. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, pretty much all I've been playing. Although cool. that does seem like quite a lot, to be fair. <laughs> it's a bit cool. Yeah, so it's been so... a pretty week in gaming news. Yeah, it, it definitely has. Um, yeah, it's been an interesting week, Finn. I'll let you take the lead on this one. Yeah, so we had the uh, PlayStation uh, events, uh, state of play. That's what they call. Um, and yeah, a yeah. lot of these coming out of that. Some people are a little disappointed from it. These people are wrong. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll go through quickly what they've, what they've uh, talked about. Uh, first thing they showed was uh, Crash Bandicoot 4 PS5 version, which, uh, yeah, looks fine. Runs 6 frames a second, low times quicker. PS5, you know. If you mean, I can tell that you're so angry. Like, I <laughs> I put in our Discord group that, um, like, Finn loves Crash Bandicoot, pass it on, and you just yeah. totally ignored it. <laughs> yeah, I, it, I, think. But, uh, I could feel the yeah. salt sweating out of you. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, it is, as I say, it's a great game. Just don't play it just when you're not playing it for 100 hours. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I'll, and I'll turn it on to get the free Platinum Trophy and turn it off again. Uh, I, might play. <laughs> <laughs> I might play a level just to see what it, what it feels like. Uh, but, yeah, I'm not going to play that again. <laughs> sorry, Brad. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're not sorry. <laughs> Uh, um, what else did it show off? So it showed off a very uh, okay looking multiplayer dodgeball game called Knockout City. No one's going to buy that game. I said it, sh I said it yeah. when that trailer was being shown. I was like, no one's going to buy this. Yeah, it looks fine. It's just it's very generic and not interesting, in my opinion. Quick prediction uh, free to play inside a year. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. They tried to go on for like a Fortnite looking graphical style. But it just doesn't do it for me, I'm afraid. No, same. It doesn't do it for me, either. It's definitely going to go free to play. There's no other way about it. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Knockout City, or whatever it's called. Oh, uh, yeah, Knockout, whatever. Uh, yeah, Knockout City. Um, they also showed off a game called Sifu, S-I-F-U, which I keep reading as S-T-F-U. Uh, <laughs> um, but it looks really good. It's like a fighting-style game. Um, the uh, combat looks really interesting, very unique. Yeah. And the art style looks very cool as well. Like yeah, it looks really cool. I like that bit where he sort of wakes up in the, um, you know, like the like the apartment building. It reminded me of the raid, if you've seen oh, that yeah. movie, um, which is a great movie, by the way. Steve knows all about that movie. Oh, yes. um, 
it looked like that, like the way that the combat was done and stuff. I'm really intrigued by it, and it's definitely something I'm going to play uh, because it just looked it looked badass. To be honest, it looked really badass. Very cool. Apparently, uh, each time the character dies, they're revived slightly older and more skilled. Yeah, well, that's cool. I think. Very cool. Very interesting concept. I like it. Yeah, absolutely. Plus, um, I just like beating the shit out of people on video games. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, there's also a game called uh, Solar Ash, which is made by the same team that made Hyper Light, Hyper Light Drifter, mm -hmm. which is a very cool looking fast paced platformer hack and slash kind of thing. Yeah, not for me, but I can see, you know, that it would attract a crowd. It's not my kind of thing, though. I didn't really enjoy Hyper Light Drifter, it must be said, but um, okay. yeah, this looks okay. Yeah, it's decent. So that on PS4 and PS5. Nice. Nice. And it showed, yeah, showed off uh, the next uh, Five Nights at Freddy's game. If you're interested in that, called Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach, mm -hmm. which is fine. They're taking it away from like the static um, camera angles and made it like like it's like a first person game, basically. Mm -hmm. like first person horror game. I don't know a whole lot about it. I haven't played like, the original games, but it's you know it's a huge franchise. People love it. Um, it's so massively yeah, popular. Really, really yeah. popular game. Um, popular with kids as well, which is bizarre <laughs> considering. <laughs> The, the style of game that it is, but yeah. Um, yeah, people people seem to really love that franchise. So uh, more power to them for bringing another one out. I'm sure it'll do really well. Um, yeah. yeah, not for me it, though. No, I think the logical next step is to take it away from that classic formula and make something new. Definitely, yeah, um, but while still keeping yeah. this, uh, you know, the, a similar uh, style in terms of what the game is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so that's cool. Um, showed up a game called Death Loop. Um, You've seen this before, what? though, right? Yeah, I think. Yeah, um, it was the it was on that was on the the PS5 press conference, I think, when they mm. first announced that. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. There's a new tra new uh, trailer for that. Very James Bondish uh, with the music and stuff. Um, it looks. Yeah, I don't really, not, don't really know what this game's about. It didn't really show off like game proper gameplay. I'm just like, what is this game? You kill people, kill people, and then you come back and kill like. To go through like a loop again and do the same thing again, but it's a different character. I don't really know. I didn't get it. I think it looks really cool. Um, I'm not sure about the James Bond comparison though, there, Finn. I think it's just a trailer. The way I think it's more like a Quentin Tarantino, you know, um, type thing. Yeah, sure. I don't know, maybe it's, yeah, but sure. Fair enough. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. It looked interesting. I don't know a whole lot about it. Um, yeah, Tarantino slash, you know, Robert Rodriguez type, uh, styly death, uh, Death Loop. I think it looks cool. Yeah, decent. And uh, then the uh, one of the biggest ones they've announced was uh, Oddworld Soulstorm. Not announced, but mm. straight off. Um, coming to PS5 and PS4, and as a free game on PlayStation Plus. Yeah, Very that's great. huge. I think I wasn't expecting that to be free, but um, you know, I said when uh, I was watching the uh, the conference that you know it probably wasn't something that I was I, I was going to buy. Um, I appreciated Oddworld. I loved Abe's Odyssey and Exodus yeah. when. You know, they're on the PS1, but I had no real interest in playing this. But now that it's, you know, coming to PlayStation Plus, I'm definitely going to play it. I mean, I think yeah. that's a very smart move because I can't help but feel that a lot of people maybe felt the same way that I did in a case of yeah. like, yep, I loved Oddworld 20 years ago. Do mm -hmm. I really have interest in playing it now? But, you know, graphically, it looks great. Yeah. And, you know, the world is super intriguing. I like yeah, you know, odd world, and I, I think it's a very interesting setting. But I, you know, I really had no interest in in playing it. Um, but now I definitely, I definitely will. Yeah, it just looks like an updated version of the old games, uh, bringing it to like the twenty first century, not twenty first century. You know what I mean? <laughs> to the newer generation. Um, but yeah, it looks really cool. I'm definitely gonna play this. I love uh, odd world, odd world games back on PS one. And yeah, this is a big one for me for sure. Especially now it's free. <laughs> like I've never. Yeah, well, yeah, it. definitely. Yeah, now, <laughs> now that it's free, I'm definitely going to play it. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's a, that's a really cool thing. I mean, Sony they're seriously knocking it out of the park at the minute in terms of, exactly. you know, games available at no money. I mean, I think we talked about this last week, didn't we? About how PlayStation Plus was just absolutely killing it. And, yeah. And you don't have to buy any games really. Mm. You know, yeah. we'll get into this a little bit more. You know, shortly. I'm, I'm very sure of it. But um, the, the games that you can just get for, for, for not paying anything is just nuts. Yeah, it's crazy. And we'll get into the games we announced um, for the next month shortly. Yeah. Um, 
so yeah, and we saw some um, what are they called? Returnal, yeah, Returnal, mm. uh, which is a roguelike kind of third-person shooter-ish RPG kind of. <laughs> yeah, it it's a, seems like a bit of everything in space. Yeah, um, it's cool little story things. I'm, that was a bit mm, with the gameplay, with the shooting and stuff. It's a bit too fast paced, fast paced, I guess. Yeah, it is quite frantic. It definitely looks that way. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of like the numbers coming off things, which I get is like roguelike, and you know, it makes sense, but it just looked very. Hmm, yeah, fast. I think the, the the big the big thing for that game is going to be its price. I think that's going to be the yeah. sticking point. People don't know enough about it, and they want to charge seventy quid for it. So, it's that's going to be a big sticking point. I think. Yeah, I think, I think it's very cool. cool. Yeah, I think it's like, very cool ideas, and I really want it to be good. But right now, I'm like, hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not 100 percent sold on it for sure. I mean, it, I mean, like the uh, the world is it like procedurally generated? It's different every time. Um, so. Yeah, but when you die, you come back. And uh, basically, you lose all your stuff and come back and have to go through it again. But like, yeah, and the world's different, and the enemies spawn in different places. So, it, yeah, the it sounds very interesting. It really does. But I don't want to pay seventy quid for a game that I um just think looks okay. Yeah, and I, I think a lot of people are going to be in the same boat, and that's I think that's a big concern in terms of the pricing for games for this current generation. Yeah. Definitely, yeah, it's getting getting up there, isn't it? The prices. Um, as far as I can think of, it's the only like AAA like shooter roguelike I can think of because obviously uh, roguelikes normally like uh, in the sort of two two D games, mm. but this is like proper like AAA. That's yeah, from Housemark, so uh, that is, that's a big studio. Yeah, uh, it's going to be very interesting. It's, it's one I'm going to keep an eye on because um, it looks great. I love the I I, I do like the fast paced frantic shooting. Uh, that's kind of the stuff that I'm into, but I don't know. I'm not. There's something about it that I'm just not sure about. I don't feel like we've seen enough. Yeah, like the stories that I've seen seem interesting. I'm not sure how that would work, but yeah, I don't know. Like reliving your memories and things. Mm. But, yeah, but yeah, we're just like, yeah, could be awesome, could be meh, could be terrible. We don't, we don't know. <laughs> we, just, we need to see more before we can make yes, up our mind. I agree, one hundred percent. Yeah. Um. And then we saw something else we've been waiting for for a little while since the last uh, uh, PlayStation event. This is uh, Tina, Tina, Bridge of Spirits. This looks very, very nice. It looks like a, like a Pixar movie, kind of. Looks really good. Looks yeah. really good. A lot of people saw, um, were thinking that this might be one of this month's PlayStation Plus games. Uh, turns out it's not coming out until April, but um, sorry, August. My apologies. Uh, but yeah, I think it looks really good. Yeah, really, really good. Very pretty, like incredible looking game. Um, yeah, it's like it's sort of like a like a three D platformer kind of thing, I guess. Mm. Kind of crash it and plankish. Yeah, definitely. I, maybe I mean it does look like that, but it also just like a bit of open world there as well. Yeah, yeah. Good price point too, thirty two pounds. If you yeah uh, in in English money, so that that is a good price point. Yeah, definitely. I, the big major thing is probably going to be a, like a short experience. Um, and I'm okay with that. You know, it makes sense. Cheaper games, shorter game. It's, it's not, yeah, yeah it's definitely not, it's yeah. a good thing. I think just blast it and like, all right, next game, good. I got all, I got all the wanted from that game, and uh, yeah, yeah, Especially I'm with you completely. Yeah, with you, I want to play. Um, I want to play the Pathless. That looks really good, and it's uh, supposed yeah, to be a, a shorter game. So um, yeah. that's a game that I really do want to check out. But yeah, I, I'm with that. I mean, not every game needs to be uh, a 100 hour epic open world mm. with 70 thousand side missions and. You yeah. know, a gazillion collectibles and all that bullshit. It, you know, sometimes it just you know short experiences are good. Yeah, especially when you get to our age and we've got like jobs and crap. Sometimes a nice short yeah. game is good to, to get in there in between jobs and the boring crap. Yeah, <laughs> the boring crap. I agree. <laughs> uh, and then the biggest news, at least for me, coming out of this is the PS5 version of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, it looks amazing. It, it really. Does. Uh, yeah, 60 frames a second. All the textures are, you know, improved. Lighting's improved. It looks so, so good. I can't wait to play this again. And a free upgrade if you have the PS4 version, which is mm. a huge bonus. Yeah, um, looks great. There's some DLC that's uh, attached to it as well. Mm, DLC. Uh, so, yeah, the DLC looks very, very cool. So I didn't expect this game to get DLC at all. Um, I'm very excited for that. So they showed off the trailer for the, remake, for the uh, enhanced version. 
And then they showed some new stuff, which uh, blew my mind. It's starring uh, Yuffie, or Yuffie, if we really want to say it, uh, from the original, which is one of my favorite characters, which is awesome. Um, and yeah, I had a big, big grin on my face the whole time. I was like, that's Yuffie. <laughs> the big grin in his face and a big <laughs> chub in his pants. Yeah. Wait, wait. Yeah, but no, it's just it's just so unexpected now. No, she looks like she plays awesome. The story seems cool, and yeah, I can't wait for this. Yeah, um, man, it looks great. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be PS5 exclusive DLC. It's not really super clear. Um, Nothing super clear when it comes to this game. I mean, come on now. <laughs> true, true. Um, but yeah, this is all new. This is all stuff that wasn't in the original game. This is all you know, brand new. Like you don't new meet Yuffie until like second disc at least in the original. And uh, and she, yeah, it's technically a secret character as well. You don't have to meet her at all. Um, but yeah, just so cool. I love it. Can't wait for that. Good. More Final Fantasy VII is good. I can't wait. For yeah, that. man. It, I think it looks really good. You know, I think the game is great anyway. And speaking of Final Fantasy VII remake, huge mm. news from Sony this week. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, other stuff. Um, so they're actually giving the game away with P- P- uh, PlayStation Plus. Yeah, absolutely. So in March, we get the PS4 version of Final Fantasy VII Remake, uh, a game called uh, Maquette, which I'm not entirely familiar with, or if I pronounce it right. Uh, it's um, a puzzle game. I think it's Marquette, or I'm not 100%, but yeah. it's a 3D first-person puzzle-type game. Oh, cool. That sounds good. It was get Remnant from the Ashes, mm-hmm. and Farpoint will be VR. Will be Very yeah. cool. Good month. Huge oh, month again for free games. Again, this is another reason why you don't have to buy games. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and the only slight downside with Final Fantasy VII is you don't get the free upgrade to PS5, uh, so we have to buy that again. Um, but, but yeah, but I mean that is nuts. <laughs> I mean that game is not even it's not even been out a year yet. Yeah. So for that to be part of PlayStation Plus is huge. I mean that you get so many hours out of that game, and it's mm. it's not like it looks crap anyway. You know, it looks and plays amazing on the you know the PS4 version. So yeah, yeah it's. I mean, it's. I think this is, you know, one of the the biggest gets for PlayStation Plus yet in its entire existence. Big time, very very cool. They're fucking killing it at the minute. <laughs> really are, really. It's like because obviously Final Fantasy Seven fans will have already played it, but this brings mm-hmm. a whole like a whole new audience. Like people just like looking out from the inside, saying, "No, this looks okay." But I mean, you know, the original blah blah. So like you just check it out for free, and you know, mm. and yeah. love it. Yeah, exactly. It's, I mean, you know, the demo maybe sort of enticed a few people, but, you know, maybe didn't completely 100% sell them on it. But, you know, now it's free. There's really no excuse to, to not play it. Yeah. Um, but it's it really is excellent. I mean, take it from me, who's not a big Final Fantasy guy or anything like that. I really love Final Fantasy VII Remake. Mm. Um, and I, I am definitely going to, you know, sort of carry on with it. Um but I'm going to have to start again because obviously I created a new profile for my PS5. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to carry on with it and uh, we'll start fresh and play it again because it's, it's that good. Yeah, awesome. And then your save date will carry on to the PS5 version as well. That's the yeah. Good stuff. Uh, speaking of Final Fantasy, we've also announced more Final Fantasy VII stuff, uh, including a Final Fantasy VII Battle Royale, Battle Royale game for Mobile Fox Fox. Snakes. It does, of course. Everything, <laughs> everything's got to be about way out now. Yeah, um, it looks fine. I'm not going to play it it's on phones. Who cares? Uh, not even yeah. point of to make you play about way out. Sorry, Square. Uh, I mean, it just look. It lean. Yeah, I don't know. I need not to say about it. It's fine. Uh, yeah, it's fine for people who want that. I mean, not I don't. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're into about way out and you like Final Fantasy VII, then yeah, I was of course going to play it. But if you mean you don't care, then yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the other thing they showed off was essentially a remake for the for mobile phones, annoyingly, um, in the, like the classic style, but like uh, with like newer character models and things. Um, it looked really cool, actually. I'm not going to play it because mobile phones. I really, really hope they bring it to console someday because it looks very cool. Um, it's not only the original game as well. They've also got that the Advent Children um, movie. Um, oh, I don't know what call it. The Calmer, some mobile phone game from Japan from years ago. Um, Crisis Core is a PSP game, uh, the prequel to the original, and for some reason, Virgil Cerberus, which is a terrible, terrible PS2 game. Um, so yeah, there's going to be huge, I guess, I guess, expansions covering the entire Final Fantasy VII story, which is nuts. I'm not sure how they're going to make it work, but yeah, all the, all, cool. all the content, 
<laughs> all the content. Yeah, it's mad. All the Final um, Fantasy VII stuff you could possibly want. Yeah. And there was a quest posted in Discord about uh, someone selling a uh, scented candle. Uh, it's supposed to smell like Tifa's boobs wet. So that's nice. I've already bought like six. Yeah, same. I went and pre ordered. <laughs> that's a uh, we're gonna because we're gonna you know we're gonna start bringing out some games and grabs merchandise yeah um great. yeah we're gonna um uh, we're gonna bring coffee mugs out for morning brown of course mm-hmm. we're gonna bring some <laughs> we're gonna bring some t-shirts and some key rings out and sure. some uh authentic ball sack smelling candles for uh for everyone <laughs> yeah yeah why not that yeah. range is going to be called games and sacks <laughs> hey. <laughs> right for this week sorted <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, done, done. Yeah, so uh, look out, look out for the games and games and graps merchandise range coming soon, maybe. <laughs> soon. Cool, awesome. So that's all the Sony stuff. Lots of good cool stuff coming. Yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. PlayStation really knocking it out of the park at the minute. Nothing too massive for me, at least. Uh, you know, from the Sony conference, but uh, the Final Fantasy VII being uh, being <coughs> free is, uh, I think, uh, just a, it's, it's huge. Yeah, absolutely huge. Um, speaking of huge, there's another big event this week out of nowhere. Mm. A Pokemon Presents uh, event showcase. Yeah. Um, first thing they announced was the remakes of uh, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Yep. Pokemon Diamond, uh, Shining Pearl, and what's the other one? Brilliant Diamond. Brilliantly Diamond? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah the, um, remade in a classic style um, of game. Looks it's very like cute. Link's Awakening a little bit. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, it's a good comparison. Um, yeah, it's very cute. One of the things they showed off was like, you can walk diagonally now. Yeah. I don't know why. It's like, okay, that's nice. <laughs> imagine um, if you couldn't. Imagine if you like, put it on, you can only go like up, down, left, and right. <laughs> <laughs> Proper old school. Um mm. But yeah, it looks super cute. If you like those games, then obviously you'll love these. Uh, I yeah, never played the original Star Nipple. Maybe I'll get into it this time. Who knows? Um, oh, yeah, I'll definitely check it out. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah. And the other big one, uh, a game called Pokemon Legends Arceus. Um, I said the Pokemon, <laughs> if you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, Arceus. Oh, There's another way to pronounce that. That's what I'm getting wrong. Arceus. Arceus? I don't know. I don't like know. Ar- Arceus works for me. It's just funny. Yeah. yeah, who knows? But it's a proper <laughs> open world Pokemon game, basically. There's a lot of comparisons mm. made to Breath of the Wild. Um, but yeah, it looks very cool. This is, looks like the Pokemon game I wanted when I was like 10. <laughs> yeah, so this looks like it's covering like the lore before Diamond and Sapphire, if I've read that rightly, or correctly, sorry. Um, yeah. Diamond and Pearl, sorry. Yeah. Sapphire's another one, isn't it? Yeah, so far I came out after that. I think it's like an expansion, kind of whatever. Fucking hell, man. There's so many. <laughs> yeah. The so Sapphire is like the yellow to, to red and blue. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, so it's like a it's like a like a prequel to them, isn't it? Yeah. It looks uh, they're still in early development and they're coming in 2022. Um, but it looks super interesting and I'm very, you know, intrigued. Like I've always wanted like a proper open world Pokemon game, like a single mm. player Pokemon game. And now we kind of have it, I guess. Yeah, it looks like, it looks really cool. I love the you love the idea behind it. I like the the style of the old timey Pokemon balls as well that they showed. I thought that was great. Yeah, yeah, that balls. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to play this or see more of it. We obviously don't know much about it right now, but give it to me now. I want it. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> yeah, all the Pokemon back. stuff. Yeah, and Pokemon Snap as well, which looks nice. That's yeah, that's out fairly soon, isn't it? Like a couple of months. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, not for me that, but yeah, I mean, it, it's it'd be fine, it'd be good. Yeah, a lot of fans of Pokemon Stamp. I never played it back in the day, but people love it, so that'd be good. No, yeah, no. it's a sequel to the one that was on the N64, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, okay. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it for gaming news. Just what I can remember. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been, you know, it's nice to have gaming news. Mm. It's been pretty. Yeah. Uh, it's been a bit of a barren wasteland this year so far. Yeah. Um, just another quick bit of Sony. Uh, news they are doing the 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 game at home stuff again and uh giving away going to be giving away free stuff throughout march nice uh starting with ratchet and clank so uh, if you don't own it it is going to be free for you free for everybody um playstation 4 playstation 5 and that'll be yours to keep forever 
Excellent. Bonus. Yeah. So good stuff. So yeah. Excellent. Right. The series is currently tied at I'm, two yeah. all. All right. Let's sound, sound get serious, boys and girls. Let's do it. Oh, it's now time. He's it. So now he's taking it serious. Yeah. Now he's yeah. It serious. Right now it's a tie. Now I'm, you know, I'm not in the lead anymore. I've got to take it seriously. <laughs> it's time for the eliminator. Let's do this. Yeah. Let's go, okay. baby. So, pens and paper at the ready, boys and oh, yeah. girls. Ready. Of course, make sure if you are listening, um, play along and let us know what your scores are. Yeah. Okay. This is we're going to start with an uh, with an open ended question. Oh, right. Okay. Let's go. Question one. Yeah. <laughs> it's never, it's never it? not going to be funny. I don't think. <laughs> no. For which console was Cooking Mama released? Cooking Mama. I played this. It was weird. It's really weird, yeah. <laughs> Pens down. Okay, Finn, what do you have? I can't remember if this is the one I played, but it was for the uh, Nintendo DS, I believe. I can't remember if it's the first one, but yeah. Steve? Complete guess. I don't know if you can see that. Dreamcast. Okay. Uh, the answer was indeed the Nintendo DS. Yay. Ding. Not a, not a clue. I think it was one of the weird ones. Thank you. Okay. Right on, Finn. All right. So Steve has lost a life. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Wrestling question. Wrestling. Who defeated Jerry the King Lawler in a Kiss My Foot match at King of the Ring '95? Was it A. Shawn Michaels, B. Bret Hart, C. Owen Hart, or D. The British Bulldog? Um, one of two. I think it's this one. I like that we can hear writing. <laughs> Pens ah, down. I can't write. Finn? Um, I went for Bret Hart. Okay. Steve? I went for Owen Hart. Ooh. The answer was Brett Hart. Yeah. I knew it was either Brett or Owen. I couldn't remember which one. Uh, well, oh, man. This could be Finn a quick one. Is <laughs> currently winning. Steve has three lives left. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Next question. Open ended. <laughs> Similar to a question we had last week, but not the same. Yeah. Which console was the first to allow for online gaming via broadband connection using its integrated Ethernet port? Did you guys have one? Um, built in. Oh, I bet this. Pens down. Finn? I've gone for the Xbox, the original Xbox. Can't see it again. Okay. Steve? Complete gas, PS2. The answer. Was the original Xbox? Yes, three for three, baby. Make it up. Well, I had to think for that one. It's like I know it wasn't PS2, I thought it was a Dreamcast, but it, that was the same answer last week. Yeah, you said it last week, so I thought, mm, yeah, I think it, PS3, oh, Xbox, yeah, Halo, of course. Okay, so Steve. 
You have two lives left. Finn, you have all five still intact. Big yeah. mountain to climb for Steve, <laughs> sir, uh, for, the, for, for this round. So good. Next question. Next question. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who won the WWE World Heavyweight Championship in the Elimination Chamber at No Way Out 2009? Was it A, John Cena, B, Booker T, C, Edge, D, Brock Lesnar? Mm. They're going to be a guess, I think. Pens down. Um, I had pretty much a guess. Um, I went for you think you know me, Edge. Okay, Steve, Edge. Yeah. Okay, the answer was Edge. Hey, there we go. Congratulations, though. <laughs> there we go. Congratulations, Steve. A question correct. Mm hmm. Won't be, a, won't be a clean sweep. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Next question. Released in 2001, the large original Xbox controller went by what nickname? Was it A, the General, B, the Duke, C, the Sergeant, D, the Corporal? I love it. First controller. Fucking huge thing. It's massive. <laughs> I've got one now. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Pens down. Finn? I went for the Duke. Okay. Steve? I too went for the Duke as a complete guess guess all right um the complete guess was correct it is indeed the duke and Oof. it is absolutely yeah. massive it's massive. I've, got, um, <laughs> I, I've i've got uh, one of the newer versions and you press the button down it does the original like xbox thing in the middle of the controller it's cool oh nice awesome. that's, that's cool. <laughs> yeah that's cool it's still fucking huge though <laughs> okay next question yeah, I'm on one. Hold on. There you go. <laughs> okay. Which WWE Hall of Famer competed as Chainsaw Charlie? Was it A, Mick Foley, B, Terry Funk, C, Ric Flair, or D, Edge? Pens down. Finn. Um, I'm in four. What the funk? Terry Funk. Okay, Steve. I too went for Captain Glass Ankles, Terry <laughs> Funk. <laughs> <laughs> the correct answer was Terry Funk. Congratulations, guys. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Open ended question. Yeah. Let's go. Whom did Jinder Mahal defeat at Backlash to win his first WWE Championship? Oh, it's like it was yesterday. Okay, pen's down. Oh, yeah. right, I'm going for Randall Keith Orton. Okay. Steve? Randall, Randall Keith, Randall Keith, Randall, Randall Keith. <laughs> okay. Randall it was Orton. indeed Randall Keith Orton. Hey. <laughs> All right. Maybe these are getting too easy now. <laughs> mm. I saw a uh, YouTube thing on it recently of the Cinema Hall winning his title. I was like, ah, nostalgia. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember the Punjabi prison match. Oh, yeah, with the Great Carly the... sort of uh, yeah. came down, didn't he? I think Great Carly thought he'd won the belt. But anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I just remember that was the rematch and it was Orton. And, yeah. Yeah, I was like the crowd's reactions when Jinder won. It's like, yeah, me too. They're, they're the kind of 
organic reactions that I love in wrestling. Yeah, mm. me too. It's so good. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> the, the internet melted that night. <laughs> yeah. Next question. No. Oh, there you go. Didn't play. <laughs> Seeds of Evil is the second title in which video game series? Is it A, Resident Evil? B, Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell? C, Chirac? Or D, Dino Crisis? Uh, it's one of two again. It's actually one of four, but okay. <laughs> Fair. I think it must be this one because I don't recognize it. And I haven't played this one. All right, pens down. Finn. Hello. I went for two rock. Is it done? Steve? I too went for two rock. The answer is Turok. Hey. Congratulations, both. I need a bit of a tough paper. one there, I thought. Yeah, it's one I haven't played. I was like, well, I've played Splinter Cell, Sonic Crash, Resident Evil, so yeah. I don't recognize the name, so it must be, I guess, Turok. My logic. Yeah, fair enough. I need a bit of paper. Yeah. Right. Steve still has two lives intact. Finn still has all five remaining. Yeah. Bye. Open-ended question. Go Who on. ended... Finn, come on. <laughs> <laughs> right, actually, it won't be... I won't make it open-ended. I'll give you multiple choice. Okay. Who ended Stone Cold Steve Austin's first WWE Championship reign? Was it A, The Undertaker, B, The Rock, C, Kane, or D, Mankind? Uh, oh, maybe this one. Pens down. Finn. Um, random one. I know you had a brief Uh, Kane? I think you'd be possible at one point. Okay. Steve? Undertaker. Just a guess. Okay. The answer was Kane. Wow. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Because no. I was talking recently saying Kane won it like day and then lost it yep. back to it. He won it at King of the Ring 98, thanks to help from The Undertaker. Um, yeah, it was the first blood match. Mm. Cool. Bullsack. Steve, you are down to one life. Finn, you still have all five intact. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, guys. Any questions? No, I'm just uh, I'm trying to I'm I'm just looking through my 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 pile of questions here, just uh, just seeing what I can uh, you know what's going to challenge you guys. I don't want anything too easy. You got too many in a row there for my enjoyment. <laughs> okay, open-ended question. What was the first Nintendo console to have HD support? Pens down. Pin steel. And for the Wii U. And nobody okay. bought. Steve? I went for the Wii. I can't you can't I can't do the paper thing. The paper's too big. I'll put the Wii. Okay. The correct answer is indeed the Wii U. Congratulations, oh, yeah. Finn. You win clean sweep this week. <laughs> yeah. Steve, it just wasn't your week, week my friend. That's all right. It's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> That's true. There's still, there's still plenty of time oh, yeah. left. Oh, sure. 
Well, if we're going up to WrestleMania, it's about another 10 weeks, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So, we're good. Cool. Yeah. We're good. Well played, Finn. Well played. Thank you. Thank you. GG. Good game. GG. <laughs> GGMU. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did a round of applause for that one. Yeah, well done, mate. No lives lost. No lives lost. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it was good going this week. There's some, there were some tough ones in there, I thought. I thought some of the wrestling ones might challenge you a little bit, but you both... Uh, mm. um, I thought you both did really well. Steve, you did yeah. well to sort of maintain just having two lives for uh, quite a little while there as well. Yeah, yeah, I had a good run. I had a good run. Just wasn't meant to be. Yeah. So... No, it wasn't your day, but you know, like you said, there's still plenty of time left yet. Um, as you know, we we are going to go up to WrestleMania with uh, this series of the Eliminator. Yeah, sure. Looking forward. Right, to so more. Absolutely. Of course, the next round of the Eliminator will be there next week, guys. Also, don't forget to uh, let us know your answers. Yeah, tweet us, Steve. Baby. Over to you for the highs and lows for the week in wrestling. We'll breeze the through highs this. And lows. Yeah, well, it should be too difficult. I'll try yeah. and be as quick as possible. I want to start off with some wrestling news. Uh, oh, wrestling! A, a wrestling mm. news. Yes, there's been a, a bit of bit of wrestling news this week. So, um, mm. I'll start off with um, WWE have signed around 18 new talent to the Performance Center. I know we covered mm. some of this last week. Obviously. Ty Valkyrie and LA Knight being uh, two of those recruits, but some more names have come out. Uh, I haven't got them all, uh, but some some kind of notable ones are ones that have been talked about quite a bit. Uh, so Bronson Rex Steiner, who is Rick Steiner's son, has signed yep. to the to WWE. Uh, I think he was he was signed to an NFL side, but was released uh, a couple of months ago. Um, and then there's a guy called Parker Baudreau who basically looks like a miniature Brock Lesnar. He's six oh. foot four, oh, yeah, 300 not, not, not that miniature, really. Yeah. Well, no, not that miniature. He's six foot four, 300 pounds. But he's being compared to Brock. He's got the build, similar color hair, and all that sort of thing. Um, but the other, the, the other um, people that have been signed, it's kind of made up of established wrestlers. Obviously, you know, Ty Valkyrie being one of those. Um, mm-hmm. Some indie stars, some NCAA wrestlers, some ex-NFL and people like mm-hmm. that. So a wide range of uh, athletic signings to, to WWE. So, yeah, 18, that's a lot. I think it's their biggest intake in one go. Yeah, I think you're right, yeah. A um, lot of potential stars there. The one that you mentioned mm-hmm. there, Parker, uh, Broad Row, uh don't know anything about him other than sort of pictures and brief mm. you know, video of him that I've seen. Um, looks the part, no doubt about Absolutely. it. Obviously, you know, now it depends whether he can actually work or not, but, you know, he's in the best place for that. Uh, it's going to go one of two ways, isn't it? He's either going to be a big star or it's going to go down the toilet. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I don't think there's going to be any in between there. I think Vince McMahon is going to want him to be like that dominant face of WWE. Uh, you can yeah. just see it a, a mile off. Yeah, I think especially when you we talk about Raw, obviously about how it's not really got any stars. And I'm not saying that, but for one stretch, that this guy is going to be an absolute star. But what Raw misses is a Brock Lesnar type. But Brock obviously won't work every week. Here's their opportunity to have that Brock Lesnar type guy who will yep. work every week. So there we go. It could be that. Yeah, I mean, um, he's, all, all, all of the tools are there, you know. Yeah, um, he's got sure. all the attributes to succeed in WWE. There's absolutely no two ways about that. Mm. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see how how he develops, for sure. Yeah, yeah. But one to keep an eye on. Um, just a couple of other bits. Uh, Lacey Evans confirms that she is pregnant, IRL. Um, so that's that's put to bed, that one of, was it, storyline? That's line in real y- life for you old bastards out there. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yes. Sorry, I'm too cool. What up? <laughs> what up? What up, youngsters? Um, <laughs> yeah, greet, greetings, I'm, fellow kids. I'm, oh, yeah, I'm the, I'm the Steve Buscemi gif. Um, yeah. So, um, and then there's been a bit of a uh, there's been a bit of a thing in the last couple of days uh, with Conor McGregor, Triple H, and Finn Balor. So, Balor posted a picture on Instagram, and it was uh, an action figure of himself. Conor McGregor 
and Triple H in the middle. Conor McGregor has commented on it. Can't remember what he said. No more Triple Mr. H nice Guy was the, that's was the right. comment he put. No more Mr. Nice Guy, to which Triple H replied, we're waiting or, or whenever you're ready, something like that. Mm. So could we see Conor Maybe McNugget like in Maybe WWE? Like, uh, really likes Alice Cooper. You want sorry? Maybe, maybe just realise Alice Cooper. Alice Cooper? Possibly, yeah. Know? No more, Mr. Nice Guy. No. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> I, I don't know the song. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't have you down as a big Alex, uh, Alice Cooper guy. It's you know, a well-known song, you know. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. No, it's a nice guy. Oh, you guys suck. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's not to, uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that as well. Yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got better taste in music. Anyway, um, so yeah, so that'd be um, so that's that's uh, that's interesting. Another one to keep an eye on potentially. We've we've said it for a few years, haven't we? You know, mm -hmm. Con Conor McGregor's definitely charismatic enough to play a part in WWE. Definitely, yeah. So we shall see. But the biggest news of the week, no doubt. And one that just came from, like an RKO, from absolutely nowhere. Paul Bloody White, Paul White, a.k.a. The Big Show, well. is signed to AEW. Yeah. yeah. Uh, wow. This one was, <laughs> honestly, that came and hit me in the face like a wet fish. I genuinely, <laughs> and I know people usually say this is a bit of a joke when there's surprising news, but with the way things are recently, you do lose track of days and what part of the year it is. I genuinely had to double check that it was an April Fool's Day. <laughs> yeah. Because I thought it, it felt like that sort of thing. And it, you mm. messaged me, Sonny, and went, Big Show's gone to AEW. And I genuinely, I looked at the date uh, and it just really, really surprised me. It surprised yeah. everyone, I think. I, I, yeah. I, I, I think if, if anyone out there that says, oh, yeah, yeah, I saw it coming because uh, <laughs> he'd been moved to the alumni section of the WWE website, you are talking out your ass because no one saw that coming. Yes, no. he had he had been moved to the alumni section on the website, but that's because people thought, well, he hasn't been around for, for, for ages, so they've yeah. just moved in there. But no, it was because uh, he ultimately could not agree a deal with WWE and AEW seemingly have uh, offered him more money, but at the same time, it looks like he's going to have He's going to be on TV every week. So he's going to be part of a commentary team. For, yeah. So for the, the, new, the new the new AE Dark uh, uh, AW Dark show that's going to be on a Monday on YouTube. Mm. Yeah. So, so we need more wrestling. Yeah. yeah well. Yeah. Well. <laughs> fo following on from that, uh, uh, something I picked up on just before the uh, I read just before the podcast, or I saw a tweet, didn't read the article. So, um, Tony Khan hasn't ruled out that AEW may have four shows a week. That's well, exactly because what I need is more wrestling in my life right now. Learn from WWE. That's too much. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, they've got a huge roster. I know they have sort of 48 mm. matches on Dark every week. I know they're going to spread them over this new Dark show that's going to be on a Monday. But it wouldn't surprise me to see another main show. You know, like obviously WWE has Raw yeah. and SmackDown. And I, I could see AEW having Dynamite and something else on that main TV. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. By having like a 20 hours of AW Dark and then another spin off of AW Dark. So that's too much. Mm, yeah, I don't watch AW much. Dark. It's just to no. me, it's. No, not me. I mean, 16 matches is overkill, 100%. I mean, I know a lot of them are, you know, they're essentially squashes. But that, yeah. that's still too much. Too many matches. You don't have to shoehorn all of your talent in. You know, rotate. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a booker by any stretch, but, you know, come on. Yeah, I know that 16 matches is too much, too many matches. Yeah, that's the thing people complain about with WWE. It's like too much. It's like three hours of Born and two hours of SmackDown, NXT, NXT UK, 205 Live, main event, superstars, that's a thing. Still, um, <laughs> yeah, that's too much. And then now AEW are doing the same thing. It's like, no, it's basically no. <laughs> the other one, the good one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and with the pay per views, I know that obviously AEW don't have monthly pay per views like. WWE, but mm -hmm. the last couple of AEW pay per views have been running on for four, four and a half hours, and yeah, too again, long. Again, it's too long. But the the recent, I I actually think the the recent uh, WWE pay per views we we've said in the past that 2020, with all things considered, the pay per views were were spot on from from uh, WWE. Yeah, um, I agree, and um, I think it's because they were shorter shows, more enjoyable. 
Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, anything can outstay its welcome. A long film can outstay its welcome. You know, mm, absolutely. You know, uh, you know, a football match that goes into extra time outstays its welcome. You know, but you know, wrestling shows don't need to be four and a half hours. They just don't. I mean, Cody Rhodes, when AEW started, said that they weren't going to have yeah. excessively long pay per views, and the first pay per view they had was going on four hours plus. Yeah, which is it? Yeah, it not you know, not long pay per views or really long pay per views. And, and for and for us, uh, obviously here in the UK, you know, when when and when the AEW ones start at one in the morning, as mm. opposed to midnight and yeah. they're four hours, that's a uh, that's a slot. Yeah. We don't have to watch it live. That is our choice if we do that, obviously. But there we go. So yeah, mm. that's the um, yeah. Paul White is uh, now all elite. Mental. I'm going to make a I'm going to make a prediction now, and you know it's it almost feels too obvious to be a prediction, but obviously so. Shaquille O'Neal is going to be on Dynamite next week in a yeah. in a wrestling capacity, and we've you know we've had this tease of Shaq versus Big Show for the longest time now, and yeah. I think AEW will actually make it happen. Yeah, I do as well, and I see that you know the wheels being put into place or the wheels starting to move uh, this coming Wednesday on Dynamite. I just feel like it's too perfect for it not to happen. Yes. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I also predict that his entrance theme will start with a wheel, and then it's transitioned into something else. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested to hear what they do, because it, it's yeah. one of those really distinctive, his, obviously his WWE music, it's one of them famous, legendary you know, entrance music. So it's going to be yeah. quite strange hearing a different one, but then... AEW kind of do this thing where it's similar to their old music, but not quite. Yeah, the FDR has a FDR yeah, one's yeah. terrible. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's really. I bad. think. I think with. I think what this did show this past week is how big of a star the Big Show actually is. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, we tend to forget about him. You know, um, because he's not on TV really much anymore. And there's all that stuff of you know him always being a face and then a heel and turning all the time. But this news genuinely shocked the wrestling world. Yeah, like, I couldn't believe it. Every every tweet that I saw saw was shocked. Yeah, there was like there was no there, there was no sort of oh I could see it coming or anything like that. Like you previously no. said, Steve, and it was all genuine shock and people just mm. like delighted that he's going to get you know TV time. He's going to be back yeah. in a a wrestling and a commentary capacity. So it's going to be. Really interesting. Obviously, this is going to be the last big contract of Paul White's, you know, wrestling career. Um, he's in probably the best shape of his entire life. Yeah. Except yeah. for, you know, very, these very his early day. WCW days. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm really excited. I was, I'm really excited by the news. I'm, I'm, I can't wait to see him. I think it's going yeah. to be great. Same here, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just, just one more thing on that. Uh, I don't know whether you guys saw, but Mick Foley uh, tweeted – Paul White to say congratulations. Uh, he also then went to tag in AEW's Twitter account in the same tweet. Oh, yeah. And inadvertently uh, tagged in a Scottish National Party politician. <laughs> <laughs> I think her name was like Angela Irwin, but with an E, which was like where the AEW part came from. And he, yeah. So she got bombarded <laughs> by tweets from, from wrestlers. And, you know, there she is just looking for independence in Scotland. So, uh, <laughs> but do you know what? I've, I've, I've been onto her Twitter account and she, she took it like a champ. Someone mocked up a, a picture of her with the All Elite, but, uh, you know, oh, yeah. <laughs> her, her name is, I can't remember, Angela. Angela something is now All Elite and stuff. So, yeah, she took, she took it like a star. So, well done, well done to her. But, yes. Got, um, I got a lot of time for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, well played, Bick Foley, old people in technology. Uh, right, we'll move on. Um so we had the elimination chamber last Sunday. Mm. Yeah. So um, yeah, just the Sunday just gone, and I thought it was a great show. You know, yes. good wrestling, good yeah. results. It was good, good all round. Really good pay per view from WWE again. Yeah, hundred hundred percent. Um, I, I would probably for my, myself, I'd probably make it like a, a B if I was going to give it a score grade. I don't know about oh. about you guys. Shut up, the network. If Samuel's word to lose, <laughs> and have... I started to watch WNXT, but um, NXT UK before we started, and it's just sitting in my tab. I looked at the wrong tab, and it's like, what's up there? All right, there we go. Nice bit of NXT UK commentary there in the background. Good stuff. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. yeah. I, I would say Elimination Chamber was was B B plus. 
Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so definitely some highs. I thought the uh, the pre-show match of Morrison, Ricochet, Elias, mm. and Mustafa Ali. I thought that was really, really good. Yeah. Uh, Morrison picked up the win there, which mm. um, you know was absolutely fine with. It was Raw. kind of. Uh, Kind of a little bit predictable that then you know he was possibly going to eat the pin a bit a little bit later on in that US title match, but a good match on the pre-show there. Um, started off with the SmackDown Men's um, Elimination Chamber match. Started off with Cesaro and Brian, and yeah. then we worked our way through uh, Cesaro eliminating Corbin, Owens eliminating Sami Zayn, Jay getting rid of Owens and Cesaro. And then eventually Daniel Bryan won uh, yeah. by by did he did he submit or pit, I, I think he submitted Jay didn't he, he made him, yeah, made him yeah. tap um, but by that point obviously Daniel Bryan his his knee had been worked over by by uh, several of the of the guys and then immediately the the chamber lifts up and uh, Roman Reigns comes out and oh. Uh, oh. Oh. yeah Bryan's beat down from the previous match. Uh, one really cool bit that, that from this, the match didn't last long, Roman Reigns eventually winning. Um, but one cool bit was, was kind of Daniel Bryan playing possum a little bit, like, oh, my knee, my knee. Reigns went for the spear and he reversed into an uh, into a yes lot and that looked really, really cool. That was, yeah, that was great. That was excellent. Um, but as I say, Reigns won and then straight after, Edge came out and speared Roman Reigns and made his intentions clear. That that is who he wants to face at WrestleMania, which is the okay. correct decision. Yes, one hundred percent it is. Yeah. So, um, yeah, looking forward to that. I imagine it will be Roman Reigns. Uh, I can't see anything changing between now and then. So that will be. Uh, oh, it will definitely be Roman Reigns. There's no way he's losing it between now and WrestleMania. No, no way. No, absolutely. So, yeah, look forward to that. Then that'll be a great match. Yep, I agree. Yeah. Same. Um, Riddle defeats Lashley and Morrison to win the US title. I've seen a few people criticizing this match. I thought it was I thought it was uh I thought it was a fine match. Yeah. But yeah. from a from a story point, it, it worked well from a story point of view. Um, you know, Morrison took the pin from Riddle, which makes Lashley look strong. Yeah. Still doesn't yeah. make him look weak at least. Uh I've got no problems with the way that Riddle won the match nope. at all. You know, um using M- M- MVP's crutch to you know, smack it over Lashley and then get the pin. So yeah, fine. Uh, and and Riddle is now the uh, the US champ. Which is yeah, good. and you know it puts Lashley out of the picture as well, and he's now obviously yeah, moving he's... on to to bigger things. So yeah. Um, yeah. the face Riddle got his revenge and yes. took the United States Championship, and I'm you know 100 all for it. Uh, he also had a, a a good match on Raw with with John Morrison. Um, yes. You know, good singles match, no Lashley in sight. So it does look like the Lashley has actually officially moved on mm. from the United States Championship, leaving Riddle to carry the mid card championship going forward. And that's fine. It's fine. Great. And apparently, a modern, fine. modern injured his knee during that match on war. Um, I don't think it's a super serious injury, but it might be out for a few weeks. Okay. With that. Yeah. 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 Um, I think the, the, the low point, or I don't want to say low point, but probably the, Probably the weakest match for me was the uh, women's tag match. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, I one. didn't think uh, a, a, the interruption from Reginald wasn't really needed. The ending was pretty poor. You know, Nia Jax stumbled into Sasha Banks and was able to then Samoan drop and then and then won. Um, I had to see one to beat the women's champion with a Samoan drop. Really annoying. Yeah, <laughs> and, and uh, uh, yeah. Was- <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fair enough. If she attacks her with a weapon, and then does it, fine. But it wasn't. It was just like a little club to the back of the head. Um, it didn't no. really at that time. It didn't really progress this storyline between Banks and Bel Air either. So that was probably the the, the low point of the night for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, I think it was a nothing match, really. To be honest, I yeah. mean, well, oh, pointless. I don't have a problem with Nia beating Sasha with a Samoan drop if that's. You know, that's her finish. That's her finisher, yeah. And, you know, like Paul Heyman said it, anything can get over as a finish if you make it a finish. 
Mm -hmm. A sleeper hold can be a finish if it's your finish. Um, Yep, yep. Okay, the Samoan drop is used a lot. Range uses it. Jay, Jimmy and or Jay uses it. And, you know, Nia Jax uses it as well. But if that's a finish, that's a finish. And it is what it is, I suppose. But uh, it's the thing, I guess, means that he doesn't look any different than any of the Samoan drop. Like, well, no. Regular Samoan drop. It's like, I don't get it. How would you want to do it? I don't know, just put some oomph into it, I guess. I don't know, it just kind of falls over with a... I don't think Nia Jax has oomph. Yeah, maybe not. Just a jump up, backflip, then drop. Yeah. Yeah. Do do you want it to do like a WWE Battleground style Samoan drop? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Um, And then the... Well, what was advertised as the main event in the final match of the night, but it wasn't. Um, Drew beats Sheamus, Matt Hardy, AJ Orton and... Matt Hardy? Matt Hardy? Who? Jeff Hardy. (laughs) <laughs> uh, Orton and Kofi um, fine match uh, got a little bit slow in the middle uh, I was mm. quite surprised that Kofi eliminating Randy and there was no there was no spooky nonsense yeah involved. no fiend at all they're no. saving that for Raw seemingly which is yes they did yeah they did save that for Raw but yeah so yeah, that, I know, was, that but... was a bit of a bit of a bit of a weird one um, mm. so yeah the, the, it's say it got it got down to um Drew, I think Drew and AJ were last. Drew then wins. Uh, good match, like I say, the middle part drag, but it was entertaining, none the least. Uh, and then Bobby Lashley comes down, attacks Drew, puts him in the hurt lock, uh, and then Miz takes advantage of that, yeah. cashes in. Which, on the pre-show before the pre-show, I think Sonny, you said, right, does, do any of us think he's going to cash in? And Finn went, no. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, I agree, and I agreed with you, mate. And I agreed. So you know, fair <laughs> enough. Um, not surprised at the end. Uh, Miz obviously eventually picking up the win in that, and is now the WWE champion. Wow. Huge. Yeah. Uh, I like the way it was set up. To be honest, I like um, that the storyline can you know was actually made sense of on Raw with you know Lashley and Miz having an agreement and. You know, this moves Lashley into the title picture. And I do think eventually Lashley does come out of this as the WWE champion. Um, not next week on Raw, like advertised. I think you, I think Lashley wins the belt at WrestleMania because the, the WWE championship, the Raw championship, isn't going to be the main event. But um, I can definitely see, um, I could definitely see Lashley winning at WrestleMania. Yeah. Yeah, Let me do that. yeah for sure. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, good show. Not too bad at all. Uh, no, another, good, another good WWE pay per view, two and a half hours long. Perfect. It's good um, the, the excitement when you know Miz showed up. Like you don't, you've yeah, had that yeah. money in the bank gash in a while. It's like when you hear the music go off, it's like, oh, it's happening. Here we go. It's like, yeah, that was cool. Yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's nice to have them surprises. Um, so raw, I didn't see a hell of a lot of raw. Uh, I've I've seen a few little bits, not not nothing major. Uh, yeah. I haven't read that it was particularly uh, an entertaining raw. Uh, we just advanced that storyline of of Lashley uh, and the Miz yeah. going forward. Um, Lashley, Lashley got was, a great promo on the Miz, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, and you know Strowman getting involved as well. Shane McMahon getting involved. So it makes me wonder whether we're going to get Shane McMahon versus Braun Strowman at WrestleMania as well. Oh, fuck. Um, now you've I, said I can, it, I can absolutely see happening. Yeah. Why? Um, <laughs> yeah. So uh, wait and see on that one, I guess. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, we had New Day beat um, Retribution again this week. Yeah, we did. We did. I'll be pissed off. Yeah, okay. Ali snapped on Retribution. Um, mm. Is that? I mean, are we seeing the beginning of the end of Retribution? I hope so, but potentially, potentially. Yeah, yeah. maybe at least some sort of like um, re, I don't know, rebranding of it. I guess just like scrap it, make it new, bring it back. No, yeah. no, don't just scrap it. Just scrap <laughs> it and have <laughs> Ali still be a pissed off heel because he's the yeah, star of the sure. show here. Because you know, there's talent in Retribution, but they're not being allowed to uh, true. showcase what they're doing, you know, showcase what they can do to their full extent because they're having to play these ridiculous characters with stupid names. Yeah. So, you know, Shane Thorne is a great wrestler. Yeah. A great tag team wrestler. They should have him, you know, still be in that tag team with that other giant Australian dude who I can't remember the name of. Um, yeah, you know, 
you, Dio Madden has the look of a superstar. Yeah. You train him up properly and you turn him into a monster and maybe stick him on SmackDown to give them that kind of, to big give, yeah. you know, SmackDown that kind of big guy. Yeah. Uh, Dominic Dijakovic is ultra talented, um, you know, and should be wrestling as himself on, you know, in great matches against Keith Lee and whoever else on Raw. Yeah. You know, he doesn't need to be whichever one of the ones he is, T-Bar. And then you've got Mia Yim, who, again, is incredibly talented. She's not fooling anybody because she's got blue hair and looks like Mia Yim because <laughs> she's only wearing a fucking Hannibal Lecter mask. Retribution yeah. <laughs> is pointless and needs to die. The only good thing to come out of it is these guys being on the main roster, and at least now, if Retribution do break up, they'll probably stay there but just revert back to their actual characters. But yeah. Ali coming out of this as a heel is the best thing about Retribution full stop. Yeah, I'll just make great heel. The rest of it sucks. It really yeah, sucks. Yeah, I think that's that's great. They've had absolutely no momentum. They've lost almost every single week. Their yeah. win-loss record must be awful. I'm going to yeah. buy a T-shirt before they split. <laughs> Definitely, the t-shirt is great. Yeah, t shirt's cool. <laughs> I might wait until they split and then the t shirt will go on sale. But yeah, be cool. Uh, yeah, about um, Ebar yeah. and Ricochet had a good match on main event. Yeah, great. But who's, who watches that who's shit? Who's seeing it? Yeah, who's yeah. seeing it? That's the thing. Um, yeah, so just a couple more bits on, on, uh, on Raw. Randy Orton's cutting a backstage, uh, promo. Uh, he's obviously been eating, you know, them sweets we had as kids, blackjacks. Yeah, he'd obviously, he'd obviously been eating a load of them, choked yeah. on them, and had way, had way yeah. too many. Had way too many, way too many blackjacks. Teeth are all black and everything. So he obviously, <laughs> obviously had too many of them from the tuck shop. Um, <laughs> and yeah, good times. That's, that's how I used. To, that's where I used to get them from. Was the tuck shop at junior school? And, yeah. you, and you were only allowed. You're only allowed twenty of them. Yeah, yeah, Randy Orton had won. 21 and he, he cost it. That's him. it. He used to rock up with a quid and go, and because they were one piece, so like, can I have a hundred blackjacks? And the teacher would be like, no, no, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, Nia Jack, Shayna Baszler defeat Charlotte, Charlotte Flair and Oscar. Again, the champion took the pin from, from Nia Jax. Uh, Nia, Nia Jax is the dominant. She's, good, she's going to be like, you know the the undisputed women's champion. So she's going yeah, to pop over to NXT on Wednesday and defeat. Yeah, her for right, yeah, she's going to she's going to have the lot. I think I think this this uh, this has kind of uh, started the ball rolling in terms of Charlotte and Oscar at WrestleMania. Great, yeah. can't wait. Um, but yeah, that is that is pretty. There was a couple of other matches on Raw, but nothing probably to write home about. I guess. Oh yeah, after, after we got a face kicked in by Shayna Baszler. Apparently, <laughs> we got a good tooth knocked out. So that's good. Oh, oh yes. right. Yes, I did. Yeah, I did see that. I did see that. Ouch. Um, cool. So that was Raw. I'll move on to NXT very quickly. Uh, Loomis and Gagano, decent match. Yeah, really good. Uh, distractions, you know, by the way. Um, Cost Gargano eventually, actually. And uh, Dexter mm. Loomis won. So that was absolutely fine. The Grizzled Young yeah. Vets attack MSK. Apparently Wesley has now got a broken hand. So Ouch. we'll see what happens there. Um, the the absolute star of NXT this week for me was Cameron Grimes. So he's yeah. doing this whole Ted DiBiase stick where he's sort of saying, <laughs> dribble, dribble that basketball 10 times and you know, I'll give you $1,000. And he gets it wrong the first couple of times. When he punched the third guy after the first bounce, I absolutely went. I was like, I was just pissing myself because <laughs> it was like the the first time. Because the, the bloke even said, um, "You know, you're supposed to kick the ball away." He's like, "No." Like, the, the second time, the, the second, yeah, the second time she dribbles it through her legs and he misses it, and then the third time doesn't take any chances. Bosh smacks the bloke in the face, tells him to kiss his grits, and oh, it's amazing. It's absolutely Cameron good. Grimes is amazing. He's this so, so this good. gimmick they've got going for him at the minute shouldn't be good, but it is, and it, I oh, love it yeah. so much. There's, I mean, last the first couple of this first couple of weeks, it's kind of like this is like the third week now that he's done it. I was like, mm, this is a bit much. This is a bit much. He's going ballistic. There's no crowd there. It's a little bit weird. But actually, take it outside of the ring, you know, in the backstage bit or in the or in the parking lots, as they call it. Um, yeah, it works. It's brilliant. It's really, really good. It's awesome. Um, yeah. Uh, and then 
Yeah, just oh, won't go through absolutely uh, every single match, but we also had uh, Escobar versus Cross. Mm-hmm. Brutal, no DQ match. Brilliant. Really, really good. Mm-hmm. Very good. Really, really good match. Uh, Karrion Cross wins. And then Adam Cole comes out to explain himself at the, at the end of the night. Says he feels bad and he feels terrible um, about attacking Kyle O'Reilly. Uh, Roddy Strong comes down and says, you know, I don't want to hear any of that crap. Bala then comes down. Uh, Bala gets a good kick in. Uh, and... Um, yeah, and then Adam Cole, nice low blow to uh, Roddy Strong. So another, another uh, nail in the coffin of uh, undisputed era. There. Yeah. yeah. Um. I think this leads. I mean, are we, are we are we headed here for Adam Cole versus Finn Balor at WrestleMania? Maybe. Yeah, Maybe. possibly. Yeah, because the 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 thing that Adam Cole was saying was the reason he's been so angry with uh, Kyle O'Reilly is that he was getting chances for the NXT Championship. And failing, whereas Adam Cole, he's like he's saying, I'm I'm obsessed about winning that belt. So uh, we could be heading for for Adam Cole versus uh, versus Finn at WrestleMania for that belt, which would be excellent. Yeah, Adam Cole loses, turns up on Raw the next night. Well, on the Monday. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe have uh, a battle forward between the undisputed undisputed era boys to see who gets the title shot. Yeah, time. yeah, that'd be good. Mm, that'd yeah, be really good. possibly. Possibly. Yeah. True. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be cool. So yeah, NXT, good show. Not not too not too bad. Not not to set the world on fire, but it doesn't have to. Not every no. week. Um Same with AEW this week, I thought. Yeah, AEW was 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 fine this week. I thought um Moxley's uh, promo after his match, the promo was longer than the match. Uh, he yep. beat up uh, Dolph Ziggler's brother. That's really disrespectful. And Ryan Nemeth is his name. Um he, he beat him. Uh, Ryan good match Ziggler. With, right, Ryan Ziggler. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Dolph Nemeth. Um, <laughs> um, Varsity Blondes versus Cage and Ricky Starts. That was a really good match. Um, and then we had some uh, Sting and Darby Allen stuff after that, which I thought was really cool. Sting um, was awesome. Yep. Uh, yeah. Cool Sting. So, so great Sting, a death drop. Still, oh, looks, so still looks great in the ring. Still, his, his, his movement, his timing. Wonderful, great! What a yeah. performer! Incredible, cultured. absolutely cultured. It, I thought it was really cool that the uh, the vignette showed uh, Sting driving along. There was a body bag on a on a rope being pulled along, mm. and uh, and then Darby Allen comes out of the bag, and then Sting came out with with the body bag, and everyone's thinking, "Oh, it must be Darby Allen," and it's not. It's uh, it's it's Taz's son. So that was uh, that, that was, was cool. Like, ooh, yeah. Ooh, and then he points to the rafters. Darby Allen comes down on the on the zip line. I was that was. Really, really, it was cool. great. Yeah, that 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 to me was the highlight. Of yeah, AEW I think so. Series. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Cutler and Hager had a match, which uh, the Young Bucks then you know uh, had to get involved in because Santana and Ortiz came down. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then there was a an interesting bit backstage where they they were well, the Young Bucks called out uh, Jericho uh, and MJF, uh, and they said we're not coming out to the ring, but we've we've seen someone that you may know. And it's their uh, uh, their dad, who Papa Buck, is Papa Buck, who is covered in covered in blood. And then the pictures on the back of the of the lorry of uh, Matt and Nick that is then covered with their dad's blood. Although it mm. did look more like tomato ketchup. Um, mm. So yeah, that was. Uh, that's I'm it. thinking that's what might have happened is life. like Papa Buck was backstage eating a hot dog, Possibly, and Jericho yeah. snapped it out of his hand. I think that might be what happened instead. Yeah. Jericho okay. was like, "I want that." Yeah. Don't let this sick pack fool you. Fool you. It's plastic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, good women's match. Nyla Rose beating Britt Brit Baker, which I thought was a bit of a, a bit of a surprise. I was hoping Britt Baker would go on and win that tournament. Yep. Um, and then we finished off the night with Archer versus Phoenix, which was a which was a good match. Which was good. Archer won, which was shocking, but um, mm. I'm sure Phoenix has. They have. They have. I think Phoenix will still be in that ladder match somehow. Be given like a second, there'll be like a second chance opportunity for someone to get back in there and he'll yeah. win that and get in it some way. I don't think you can have that match without him. So, no, absolutely. But yeah, AEW served its purpose this week. Yeah, it was just, you know, fine. did it did its job in building towards did building towards the pay per view and that's fine. Yeah. I mean, what I found, I mean, I'm I'm because of reasons I'm, you know, I'm watching a lot of this, you know, back to back on a Saturday morning. 
Um, so you get I get a really good gauge of which show was probably probably slightly better, and mm. you know I think this week AEW was probably uh, a touch better than NXT, and and maybe on a par, if not a little bit better than SmackDown actually. Um, mm. SmackDown SmackDown was better in the second hour, which I will come on to now. Um, quick, uh, sorry, quick AEW note. Well, AEW slash NJPW. Uh, John Moxley retained his uh, IWGP. Um, um, United States Championship against Kenta. So oh, uh, Kenta uh, no longer has the briefcase and lost the match, and Moxley is still the champion. Nice. Okay. Well, I'll put the end to that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so uh, back over to WWE SmackDown this week. I felt it was quite promo heavy. It was, mm-hmm. it was 25 minutes before we had the first match. Roman Reigns t- taking... 15 minutes to get down to the ring, um, <laughs> doing his promo. Daniel Bryan interrupts him, um, basically calling him a coward and saying, "You know, you're supposed to be you're supposed to be the main event, the head of the table, but you were the second match at Elimination Chamber. Surely, yeah. surely, if you're uh, that big of a deal, you uh, you would have main evented the night, but you didn't." Um, Jay then just wallops Daniel Bryan, uh, which then sets up a match later on in the night for Daniel Bryan versus Jay Uso. And if Daniel Bryan wins, he would face Roman Reigns at Fastlane. Um, um, uh, we had <laughs> Rock. <laughs> oh dear. Um, Ray and Dom versus Otis and Gable. So, we had this match again um, by the by the piped in crowd noises that suggests to me that Gable and Otis are now heels because they mm. were booed by the fake crowd noise. Um, Dom and Gable had great exchanges again. I, I would much prefer to see them in a singles kind of uh, story. Yeah, going, I going agree. Forward, yeah, yeah. You know, um, but I'd rather see Chad Gable in singles matches full start well, instead of yeah, doing this. One, Fucking nonsense with Otis. Yeah, one one hundred percent. We've you know we spoke about it before. He's the yeah the second coming of Kurt Angle. Even down to the even down to the comedy aspects of it. You know yeah, yeah. Um, absolutely. Um, really cool uh, promo from uh, Apollo Cruz where he's talking about his heritage and his, how he's like from Nigeria and all of that and how he's going to use that going forward and. Um, he then beat yeah he beat Nakamura in a match after that as well. So Nakamura's little push uh, is over. Um, <laughs> <laughs> lasted a week. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. lasted a week. Um, I like Apollo Crews in this role. I really do. I, I you know yeah, I've said it over the last couple of weeks work. that yeah I've really enjoyed the sort of the exchanges he's been having with Big E and mm. you know him as a heel is great and I think yeah this this character is really going to work for him and I'm all for it. Yeah, like, I think I said it was either last week or the week before that when they tried to turn him heel before he was too smiley, still yes. smiling as he come down yeah. the ring. Now he's not doing that. He's he's the he's cutting heel promos. It's good stuff. Um, mm. And then just a couple. The, uh, oh, sorry, sorry, go on, they're using angle slam as a do finisher, which is cool. Mm. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, good stuff. Um, just a couple more bits then. On SmackDown, so Bianca Belair has picked Sasha Banks as her opponent at mm-hmm. WrestleMania. Cool. Um, so both Raw Rumble winners have picked SmackDown, um, yeah. SmackDown Tells superstars. You yeah. Tells yeah, you a lot, that, I think. Mm. Um, and then we're going to be heading into a uh, program where we see Rollins and Cesaro having uh, having a few matches, which is good. 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 I'm all for good. that. Um, that's probably Cesaro swinging Rollins around the ring like he did it's probably the best i've seen since uh, we saw him at takeover cardiff yeah where he, just, where he just did it for about what felt like 10 minutes um, yeah he was just swinging the shit out of rollins on smackdown this week it's awesome great. i got a lot of time was, for that that's gonna be a great feud yeah. Yeah, yeah that'll be a fantastic feud really really good um and then as we finished off the night with uh brian versus uso again uh uso jay uso um jimmy and or jay jimmy, jimmy and or jay Oose, brother Oose. Um, <laughs> Jay, Jay was working the knee, same as it was what's happening at uh, at the Elimination Chamber. But the match ended with a double count out. Mm. Um, Daniel Bryan kind of snaps, goes back in, he attacks Jay, but then 
Reigns comes in and just chokes him out, puts him to sleep, and that's it. Reigns stands tall at the end of SmackDown. Um, this is going to go one of two ways. We're either going to get uh, we are we we either are going to get Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns at Fastlane, or mm. we're going to get Daniel Bryan and Edge versus Jay and Roman Reigns. Uh, yeah, 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 possibly. Um, is yeah, it's whether it's whether we'll will Edge want a match before Mania. You know, there's... I can't see why he wouldn't. I mean, I, can't, I yeah. really can't see why he wouldn't. Just the risk of injury and all that sort of thing, you know. Yeah, um, but if you're worried about that risk of injury, you shouldn't be wrestling in the first place. Probably not, but I suppose it's different with Edge. He's, he's that bit older and, you know, he's only recently returned, has he? Has he, he is, but when you've got 103-year-old Sting throwing himself about yeah. on Dynamite every week, you know, Edge is only mid to late 40, 46 edges. Yeah. Yeah. Jericho well, is 60, 68. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was plastic six pack. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that could happen. Um, I mean, th there was a backstage bit uh, just before that with Daniel Bryan and Edge where Edge sort of said, well, you know, if you, if you beat Roman Reigns, then it's me and you at Mania. And Bryan was like, yeah, I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah. Well, you see, the, 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 I think it could be a tag match. Yeah, it would make sense. Um, can you see? Um, absolutely fine. I think you see perhaps, perhaps a uh, triple threat at Mania: Danny Bryan, Edge, and Roman. I hope not. Yeah, I hope not. But at the same time, yes, I can absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah. I'm with, I, you could see it. I hope it doesn't happen. So, yeah, me too. Yeah. There okay. we go. So yeah, so, yeah, that was uh, that was the week in wrestling. Apologies, it was a bit of a, a whistle stop tour, but my uh, my phone is about to die. So there we go. <laughs> right, and on that note, uh, we will we will yeah. indeed be back next week with episode one hundred and thirty four. Yep, yep. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, you know, interact with us on social media. Uh, we, you know, we love hearing from you. We love hearing your thoughts on the podcast. Um, go subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Uh, YouTube.com forward slash games graps but for now this has been episode 133 of the games and graps podcast we are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts on every single podcast service everywhere 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 and facebook and youtube and anywhere else you can hear people talking about things my yeah. name is sunny g i've been joined by finn Steele. goodbye and steve goodbye we will. See you next week. Take it easy, guys. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Goodbye. We okay. forgot to advertise the crotchless pants. Oh, no.